Hello everyone, welcome to 12 Days of Polish. Today I have all of my Black Friday purchases in this box. Yes, I definitely went overboard. I kind of started out with the idea that I wanted to try some different brands and then I don't know it it just kept going. So this might be a very long video. I may have to break it up into two videos because I think I have upwards of 30 polishes. I think I have at least 30 polishes here. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. Let's get into it. Let's start off with my Color for Nails order. The whole site was 30% off, uh, except for, of course, their final sales section. And I did peruse that side of their website as well. And I came across the Uber Chic Wild West 01 plate. I've actually had this on my wish list for a while now. Uh, when I look at it, it reminds me of my grandfather. My grandfather is very proud to be Native American. He walk, would walk around with his hat that had tribe name on it, his cowboy boots. I lived with my grandparents a lot when I was younger and always in the house we had a dream catcher. I remember distinctively very clearly that my grandfather actually had this uh, wall hanging of a young native girl with her long black hair um, beside a wolf. So anytime I see wolves, cowboy boots, dream catchers, I always think of my grandfather. And so when I looked at this plate, that's exactly what I thought of. Um, this is kind of out of my my I guess comfort zone if you will I mean it doesn't make me uncomfortable per se but this isn't the type of uh stamping plate that I typically go for but I don't know for nostalgia's sake I guess I kind of I wanted to get it so I got it then I went ahead and ordered some nail polishes of course because that's kind of why I went onto the website so I went ahead and took the plunge and decided to try out some Cadillacers uh recently well no it was probably like six months ago I talked about winning a white Crelly with gold glitter in it and so many people have recommended Cadillacers Julia this is a white Crelly base and it has gold holographic glitter in multiple sizes but they're all in the heck shape the formula on this was a three coater for being a $13 polish at full price I was expecting more uh, but that's not horrible three coats for a white curly isn't bad at all so I'm pleased with this one the next two I got to say were a little bit disappointing and I think at this point I am feeling a little bit deterred from purchasing from Cadillacer anymore in the future this next one is wear it like armor this is a very sheer lilac with gold rose gold holographic glitter in multiple sizes but again all in the heck shape I did three coats of this and it wasn't up to the opacity that I I wanted I really feel like this was like one of those milky crellies I mean this is probably more on the jelly side to be honest um, the swatch photo kind of led me to believe it was gonna be more opaque and I think that's why I'm a little bit disappointed I did three coats of this and it still wasn't up to full opacity the other one and the last Cadillac that I picked up is 11 this looks so beautiful in the bottle it's this dark navy jelly with these bright neon glitters there's green purple pink and blue this looks more in real life on me looks like more of a teal base and I gotta say the teal against those colors isn't very good um, but my swatch photo I don't know why it was so difficult to capture this one on camera but my swatch photo does show it the way that it looks in the bottle even though that's not really what it looks like in real life the last polish from color for nails comes from a England so this is a polish that's been on my wish list for a very long time and I mean years this is a polish that I, I've seen talked about on Makeup Alley a lot and I think I've heard it talked about a few times on YouTube but I decided to go ahead and pick up pick up Tristam that's very difficult for me to say Tristam it's a like a dark denim holographic it is so beautiful I'm very pleased with this one fully opaque in two coats the brush is kind of I don't know reminiscent of maybe like an old china glaze brush i feel like they could do better with that but overall i'm really really happy with this one the formula is just fantastic a brand that i really don't hear anybody talk about is Schlee. there was a sale so i took advantage because this is another indie brand that is fairly expensive at around 13 dollars a bottle they were doing a 35 percent off sale i think and so of course i was going to take advantage of that the first one that i got is tropical fish this is a lime green and it has like this goldy orange flash to it it is so pretty. I mean, I'm not one to really go to greens, but there was something about this that was really unique and I felt like it was really wearable. Formula was good at two coats. You could get this fully opaque. The next one that I got is Pure Fantasy. This looks like it's a cooler toned purple base maybe with 
I think that's the Aurora Shimmer with that like orangey green flash uh, along with scattered holographic glitter in there. Uh, this has a thinner formula but it is a buildable formula so this one required three coats for me. And the last Schlie that I picked up is named Life of Finds a Way. This looks like it has a dark blue base maybe with all of the same elements as Pure Fantasy. I got this one opaque in two coats. Let's talk about polish. So polish is the reason why I even started buying indie polishes because Jessica the Polish Queen sent me a polish and that was the end of that. I have since gone crazy as you guys have seen if you've been with me since then but I went ahead and I picked up three of the polishes. They were doing a really good sale. I feel like polish is one of those indie brands that is established. They come out with quality polishes consistently um, but oftentimes they're actually at discounted prices. I think they could actually charge more but they don't uh, so I kind of respect that side of them. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and pick up the ever elusive, the very limited, highly sought after but finally brought back the Bell Witch. Uh, there was a very small supply of this when it was originally released uh, and it sold out quickly. I was actually a little bit bummed. I wanted to get it during its first run. Um, I don't think this was actually supposed to come back but it did and so I took advantage of it. This has a lilac-y pink base with um, gold flakies in there. This reminds me a lot of that Cadillac or polish that I was talking about earlier, the Wear It Like Armor. This has the rose gold glitter in it instead of the gold flakies, but I gotta say the formula on the polish is so much better. I got this one fully opaque in two coats. So beautiful. I cannot wait until somebody finally releases a gold flaky topper. I've been looking searching I should say high and low for one of those that's not $50 because people are selling them for like 50 bucks. Um, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. So if an indie brand wants to do it, I mean I'm right here. I'll be your customer. I'll be the first one in line. The next one has those same gold flakies in it but this is Grindelwald but it has a darker plummy base. So beautiful. I love looking at this one. Um, another one that I got opaque in two coats. And then the last one is called Snapdragon. I think this went along with Seaside. It's that cobalty kind of neon blue with the scattered hollow in there, or ho scattered hollow flakies, I think it is. Uh, this is the same concept, but it's like a lilac pink. I don't know what it is with me and lilac -y pinks. What's going on? I don't know. Maybe it's my new favorite color. Formula is amazing. Once again, opaque in two coats. A new indie brand that is definitely becoming one of my favorites, it probably sits in my top five right now, is Twisting Nether. I always want to say Tethering Nether, but it's Twisting Nether. I place an order with them maybe a month or two ago. I definitely shared those polishes with you guys, but I went back for more. I ended up using a coupon code because they were part of the Indie Brand Collective sale. And with that code, I think I got free shipping, but I know for sure I also got a free polish. The two polishes that I chose for myself are Milk and Cookies for Santa. This is a white Crelly. What can I say? Totally expected, isn't it? It's a white Crelly with brown glitter, and there's also red and green metallic glitter. I got this one opaque in three coats. The other one has been on my list for some time. This is Polyjuice Potion, and this was just $5. This is the Aurora Shimmer with, uh, I think it's Scattered Hollow in there. This looks so pretty over so many polishes. I know that Unicorn P, the original Unicorn P pigment is probably so much better, but you know what? I'm completely satisfied with this Aurora Shimmer. It looks so pretty over purples and blues. I did one coat over simple colors in a list blue. I probably should have did two though. I think it might have looked better. The last polish is the one that was chosen for me. It was the free polish. This is Winter's Kiss and I'm so glad I got this one because it was actually on my list but I didn't get it. Um, it's actually a thermal polish. I didn't like manipulate it to like do all the color changing tricks that it does. Um, but it's it changes from like a darker purple to a lighter purple to I don't even remember. Um, I like thermal polishes, but I'm always hesitant because I know that they have a shorter shelf life um, in general. And I don't always necessarily like um, all of the shifting colors in them, but with this one I do like all of the colors. So whatever it gets stuck in is totally fine with me. Um, but it has, um, there's flakies in there and there's also, it looks like hollow flakies in there too. I got this one opaque in two coats. That was so descriptive. I'm sorry you guys. I have a lot of polish to get through. I of course made a noodles nail polish purchase. If I did not make a noodles nail polish purchase, I certainly would not be Jody. So there are seven here. I ordered six. I think if you 
ordered five, no matter what five, you would get a free one. And it was a Black Friday mystery polish, which I love the mystery polishes that Natalie comes out with. They are so pretty. So pretty every time. First one I have here is Prototype 13. This reminds me a lot of China Glaze's Cinderella, but of course with that indie uh, touch to it. I actually really like this one. I didn't really like the China Glaze Cinderella, but I think there's more um, more going on in this, so I think it looks better against my skin tone. I think this is gonna work really well with stamping. The formula is good, of course, opaque, and two coats. I got another prototype. I mean, I have all three of the prototypes that recently came out. The next one is Prototype 14. This looks like it might have some of the same bits going on as the prototype 13 in it but it has like the added orange and maybe like blue glitter in there I don't know there is a lot going on in this one as well I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this one I feel like I should use it in like a Halloween stamping mani though like maybe some orange over it I mean that's so far away but that is something that I'm thinking about another two coater from noodles and the last prototype that I got is prototype 15 when I saw this listed I immediately thought of Christmas I mean it's green it's Christmas time so of course that's what I I thought of but it looks like it has like this blue flash to it it's very very subtle um I got this one opaque in two coats as well this was one that kind of kind of applied like a cream polish definitely isn't a cream polish there's some glitter in there but it just applied like one there have been two polishes on my noodles nail polish wish list for some time probably maybe almost a year now uh but I finally made the purchase I finally got them they just kept getting pushed to the back you know what I mean it's like oh I want that one I want that one I want that one I want those two but I really really want these you know what I mean that's kind of how it was for me with these ones the first one is bundled up this is a multi-chrome and it has I think there's um there is hollow glitter in there, but it looks like it has maybe like light gold flakies too. I'm not really sure if that's actually what it is, but it shifts from like a green to a gold to this pink. It's actually a really strong pink. The formula is really good. It's I'm kind of getting a little bit repetitive, but Noodles has really good formulas uh, across the board. They always have good formulas and this one was a two coater for me. The other one that was on my list is Group Custom number two. This is a teal. It's like the teal version of Cranberry Twist from Noodles if you have that one. I've been eyeing this for so long and I'm so glad that I finally have it. Teal is a color that I actually really do like but I don't like that it stains in nail polish. That's one of the downsides to teals. I didn't have that, that experience with this although I will say I didn't actually wear it for a full day. I just wore it during swatching and typically during just that 10 minute period of me swatching teals will stain me. This one didn't do that. I'm happy that I have it in my collection. Teal is actually one of the, one of the colors in my wedding so I feel like I should have this one. There is a group custom number one and I don't have that one. Hopefully I'll find it in D stash, but we'll see. And the last two polishes include Bah Humbug. So this is a re-release. I think this was a part of the holiday collection 2017 maybe, but this is just like, it looks like a, a really soft purple linear hollow. I just felt like I had to have it. I just felt like I had to have it. And of course I got the Black Friday Mystery Polish. So this is Black Friday Mystery 2018. This is so pretty. It's a plummy purple. There's a lot going on in here. I am so glad, so glad that I did not miss out on this. I think it is available on the website right now, but whatever she has already made, that's it. There's not going to be more more bottles whipped up. So if you wanna get it, I would say get it while you can. I went ahead and placed an order through IndieLacquer.com. This is an indie brand that is always inexpensive. Uh, their polishes are never more than $7. Their Instagram even advertises that. I placed an order during their Black Friday sale though, so all of these polishes were just $5 and I ended up getting four. The first one that I got is It's Showtime and this is a has a purple base and it has Aurora Shimmer, so it, it shifts from like that orangey gold to green. This is very sheer, so it does it does need to be used as a topper. So that was a little bit of a letdown to me, but for five bucks, I really feel like I can't really go wrong. I can find a base color in my large collection that would match the base color that they use in this and just use it as a topper. I did one coat of this over Landon. I think I probably should have did two or maybe chose a different base color. So I'm gonna have to kind of mess around with this one and see what other polishes I can pair this one up with that I already own in my collection. The next one that I got is my Two Cents. This looks like a, I don't know, maybe like a blue gray base and it has a strong copper shift to it. I remember when 
copper was really popular. It's not all that popular nowadays. It's all about like flakies and Aurora Shimmer and of course Unicorn P. Uh, but I remember when that was all the rave. Anyways, I had seen a few brands a while back come out with uh, polishes similar to this, but I never picked them up. I finally did though. I'm like a year and a half, two years late, but I finally have one in my collection. The formula on this is really smooth. Um, I got it opaque in two coats. My camera battery died, so that is probably why it looks like I've moved a little bit. So I wanted to try out their Crelly formulas, of course, so I picked out Speckled. This has a light purple base with white, pink, and it looks like maybe Maybe burgundy, like a darker burgundy hex glitter along with a dusting of hollow glitter too. I did three coats and this was not fully opaque, it was probably like 95% opaque. But there is so much glitter in this that it's actually distracting. It distracts you from your nail line. So that wasn't an issue for me. Three coats, the formula was good, it wasn't goopy, probably more on the thinner side than the thicker side, but it didn't run on me at all. The last one that I got is Ghost with the Most. It has a green base. There's hollow dusting in there and it looks like it has the Aurora Shimmer in there too. This is technically a magnetic polish. I'm struggling with the magnetic side of this. It does magnetize but I don't I don't know. I'm struggling with it. I don't know what it is. If you guys have any tips on magnetic polishes, let me know because I need all the help that I can get right now. I picked up three polishes from Anchor and Heart Lacquer. The first one is Figgin Amazing. And this is a purple. It has flakies in it. There's also like this strong gold, I want to say goldy orange shift to it. This has been on my mind for a really long time. The last time there was an indie brand collective sale, I wanted to get this and I didn't. And then I was kind of kicking myself in the butt. So this go around, even though they weren't a part of that sale, they were doing their own sale. I went ahead and I took advantage of it. So I got this one. It's opaque in three coats. I'm so glad that I have this in my collection, you guys. It stands out against all of the other polishes in my collection. I don't have anything quite like this. Those flakies kind of look like fish scales to me, if I'm honest. I think they look gorgeous. From that same collection is very appealing, you guys. This is my color. I love colors like this. It's an orange. It has those uh, flakies in there too, but this has like a strong, it looks like a blue and then a green shift to it. This formula actually kind of blew me away. The formula on this one is better than the purple one. I got this one opaque in two coats. I am so excited for summer to roll around so I can wear this. I'm not one to wear glitters on my toes but I might wear this one on my toes I mean this color is gonna look good on toes and the last one that I got is time travelers so last time they were doing the indie brand collective sale as well I wanted this one and then I didn't participate I did not buy any from anchor and heart lacquer at that time they brought it back I'm glad that they did um, it just I don't know it's a green and it has that Aurora shimmer in it there's also some gold glitter in there too. I don't know, this looks really good on the nail. The shift is very apparent. This has a really strong shift, so I'm very pleased with this one. Cuticula recently came out with their confection line, which is a line of nail fortifiers. These are basically cuticle creams. I picked up two, this one is in gingerbread. I've got the other one and I lost it. It's in Santa's cookies, but it smells just like chocolate chip cookie dough. It, it smells like it's edible. It smells like I could taste it. When I smell it, I can taste it. Does that even make sense? Probably not, but I'm telling you, when I smell it, I can taste the chocolate chips. But these are actually really good. I've been using these in place of my other like nail care things when I'm doing swatching because I like to use creams instead of oils when I'm doing swatching because I just don't like the oily look. I think these absorb quickly as well and I haven't had any issues with these like breaking me out anywhere on my body so that's a good thing. And then the other thing that I got from Cuticula is the Wildest Dream Top Coat. This was originally in some sort of scent. I don't know what scent it was but it wasn't a scent that sounded like I would enjoy. They ended up coming back out with this in other scents on their own website though. So I I picked up the unscented one because I don't know I'm kind of picky sometimes I want apples sometimes I want to smell like cinnamon rolls I don't know we are at the end you guys this is the last brand that I purchased from I purchased from Scofflaw 
Scofflaw is a brand that I've been interested in, but I'm really confused about their website. I'll go on their website and things will not be available. It kind of reminds me of like the old indie ways where there would be like during one time of the month or like once a week they would do a restock and that was the only time they were open. I'm not really sure if that's how they work because I've, I've gone on their website a few times and there's nothing available. But they were open during the Black Friday weekend, so I placed an order then. This first one that I got is Fistful of Foxes. This is kind of like this creamy sand colored base with orange. There's baby blue, and it looks like there's hollow glitter in there too. Formula is really good. Um, I'm impressed. Opaque in two coats. The other one is kind of one that I wouldn't even have thought I would have picked up. This is Avocado Fetish and this has a pale green base with, it looks like orange, there's green and there's also blue glitter along with, looks like there's some hollow in there too. Another good formula, opaque in two coats. And the last one that I got and this I remember seeing months ago, I ended up skipping it, kind of regretted it at the time, then I forgot about it, but then I remembered it when I went onto the Scofflaw website. But this is Unicorn Wool Sweater, and this has like a darker sandy base, like a cooler toned sand base with, um, it looks like there's silver, baby blue, and pink, and some light purple glitters in there too. This is so cute. I want to do something Christmassy with this, like a pink Christmas design. I think it'll look really pretty. This has another good formula. I got this opaque in two coats. That was a lot of polish. That is it. Those are all of the things that I picked up during the Black Friday or during the holiday sales. That was a little excessive. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't need to spend all that money and I did. For now, I'm probably not gonna be buying any polishes. I have skipped the December polish pickup um, because Look at all this polish that I have now, you guys. I have too much. This is too much. All of these, even though I did swatch them, I'm considering them untrieds to me. If I were to sell them, of course, I would tell the people that they are, they have been used. But to me, swatching them is just not good enough. That doesn't classify it in my mind as actually being used. You know what I mean? So let me know what you guys got. Did you guys go overboard like I did or were you really conservative? I would love to talk about it in the comments. Let me know what you guys got. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.